hey you so i thought i would do this video so um yeah i have been struggling to put the videos up but basically my phone i record most things on my phone um we are looking at getting a capture card and stuff like that but it's a pain in the butt my um computer doesn't seem to want to find the videos now so i can drag and drop them onto my um like a desktop and then basically um obviously upload them to youtube so that's the only way that i have to actually do these videos so i am going to be doing some more live streams as in like i'm gonna be playing a lot more games online and just streaming them straight there because it's so much easier to do that i can do that from the playstation uh playstation 4 sorry so that's so much easier so i will be doing that but this one is just a quick look we are actively in our games room so um so yeah I uh, really hope that you let me know what you think. It is a work in progress, so um, I will obviously put the camera off in a moment, flip it around, and uh, then yeah, you can hopefully take a good look, tell us what you think, think of, or oh, tell me what you think so far, because I have pretty much done this room mostly by myself with my partner, obviously helping making some of the IKEA furniture that we have made. Um, mm, all the furniture in here is from Ikea or from Gumtree second hand so um, all one unit is literally travelled with us so everything in here is on a budget because that's what we need right now but yeah so we'll start over here so over here this is our I call it a click clack I think that's what they're called it's basically one of those sofa beds that you pull the top back and it lays down so that is so that my friends and family can actively come and stay um this was of gumtree and it cost me 50 pounds um we were actively looking at them and they wanted like 250 500 for like anything above these kind of things and i'm just can't afford that um you can see i picked ones with really thick legs and without sounding like a complete bitch my friends are bigger people i have no issues with this but it did limit what I could choose as in a sofa bed. So what I mean by that is I didn't want to get a sofa bed with very thin legs, put my friends on them that are cuddlier, and then basically they break the sofa bed, feel dead bad about it, and then have to replace it, and they're expensive anyway. So that's why I kind of picked this one. I didn't mind the colour. It was all about the legs, the stability, and the strength of it. So that's why we've got that. We've got this, which came from Ikea in the reduced to clear section. So it's basically like a little puffy that you can sit on. It is metal. Or if you roll it over, it's like a little storage pot. Um, we did get it, as I said, reduced to clear in Ikea. Love it. It kind of fits the vibe of the room too. We have my amazing shop displays of original Mario 64. This one. And Luigi's Mansion 2. It's not the first Luigi's Mansion, that is the second one. Um, cutouts, and they are amazing. I love them so much. So they do go all the way down to the, the bottom. I have done one pin up the top for each just to hold them to stability. Mario reaches the floor, and Luigi, this has a, it's weird, it has like a, a base, and he reaches the base. So I just wanted to for stability. This... I keep um, tweeting Matt Pat and stuff, which is Game Theorist. If you don't know, yes, love the show. But either way, he has Mario's actual canon height written on him from um, the N64 game. So um, just putting it out there. Uh, really quickly, I will shoot over to here. Um, so this is my other half. So I know nothing about it. I don't know. I could turn it on probably. But yeah, that is his. Bridge signed a uh, picture from the London tour that we went to see them at. I purchased him that because, yeah, he loves it or loves them. We both enjoy them, but he really enjoys them. So then up here, you can pretty much see this is collector's editions and other bits and bobs. Basically, I didn't know where to put everything. So, so obviously, you've got stuff like Amiibo um, Festival, Animal Crossing. I don't hate the game. It's fine if you want to come for me. Um, I also have barely any friends, so um, I don't mind playing it by myself. Um, <laughs> Zelda, Zelda, Zelda Twilight Princess with the Wolf Link amiibo. 
obviously some of the amiibos are in there so uh metroid summer's returns that is my partner's octopath traveler that is the collector's edition which i adore and i'm so happy that i pre-ordered when i did obviously you've got giant woolly yoshi because who doesn't um that is Discare five i believe possibly i'm pretty sure it's to scare five um then that's like a sonic game that we found in the charity shop behind those you can see the nintendo symbols that is all the nintendo labo we haven't really opened it like i've got the points off of it but i don't see the point in using it it's more for when my sons get older but most of the labo is actually reduced to clear now in um in argos um like all of it even like the giant blooming um like robot one so yeah pokemon typing because i actually really like it then if you come down to the bottom shelf you've got my zelda breath of the wild collector's edition you've got my diablo amiibo you've got just a generic tails um figure which is my other halves uh bravely second in that limited edition box there um sonic mania that is the limited edition one with the giant sonic which i would like to get out somewhere but yeah we're limited on space so uh nina kuni uh behind that um uh, that is the limited edition with the music box but i was dead disappointed because it was so freaking tiny that's just blankets for when people stay and stuff but then yeah you've got some Zelda light up figures. Sometimes when we've pre-ordered stuff, they've come free with them. I don't look to purchase them kind of things. I don't see the point. We don't have them out. And I certainly can't be bothered to put them on and off all the time. To get to consoles there. So you have classic uh, Nintendo Classic Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini. Um, the best place we found to get all those kind of things was very because everyone forgets them. <laughs> and then we go to the cupboard. So... I'm going to pull that so you can see it better. There we go. Um, so straight away, the top, this is all my other halves. This is his and that is his. Um, obviously, I do know who some of the characters are. He's got Amiibos. He's got um, Peach Bleach Splash characters. He's got Sonico. Um, he's got Sword Art. He's got... Um, Oh, I can't even remember the name now, which is really pissing me off. But, yeah. So, I know most of the characters. I'm just not overly fussed with them. Um, on the bottom here, as you can clearly see, these are mine. So, I'm going to open the cupboard because the light is annoying me. Uh, yeah. So, here you have my two Resident Evil limited edition statues. So, you have Jill Valentine and Leon Kennedy. I absolutely adore these and would like these out in a better position. But also, I am fully aware that I have two two-year-olds um and these came out of the very expensive limited edition boxes that i I don't, i'd cry if they got broken so um that is the best i can do at the moment yes they are on top of each other don't come for me because that's the only shelf that i can do so i can manage all my stuff <laughs> so the next one here is obviously i've got some sailor moon i've got some zombies fallout i've got this which is hilarious so we went to the final fantasy um 30th anniversary like pop-up stall and most I think everyone threw their cups away but I had a green tea and it was a really crap green tea so I threw it away but I was like I'm gonna keep the cup so that is the actual cup <laughs> no idea if it's ever gonna be worth anything but it's cute AF and I like it so yeah I've obviously got some really cute characters I've got some more Woody Yoshis giant pikachu detective pikachu um obviously this is she's from bravely second and then you have my amiibos which i have a lot and they kind of live in there at the moment i i we are going to put some shelves up but yeah so i shut that so on the windowsill and i apologize about the light you have all of my rabid luigi like rabid characters sorry um so that's really cute I'm gonna do that so first i saw in the room is this so one yes i do have stuff that i have nowhere to put as of yet and i don't know what to do with um in those two boxes is lego dimensions 
as I said, I have I, we're putting shelves up and I'm waiting for that to happen. That is our Final Fantasy uh, Cloud. Um, basically on his motorcycle and I literally don't want to put that out until I've got somewhere safe to do so. That is Disney Infinity 3.0, limited way of originally getting Boba Fett until they released Boba Fett separately. That is still sealed. I purchased that from Toys R Us when they were shutting at like 10 quid. So um, I just don't know where to put it. <laughs> then over here, yes, as I've just said, so we have some cute stuff on the top here. You have a lot of my Nintendo Switch controllers. I do you like a controller? Disney Infinity three stack pack of display boxes. I have tons of those boxes. And if they actually think people can display all of those damn characters in those boxes, they need the head fixing because there are too many characters and not enough space in people's houses. So up here you have um, Pikachu N64. It's the only one I wanted. I grew up in that era. I didn't have an N64. My parents bought me a, play a Game Boy Color and then a PlayStation 2. And money wasn't necessarily tight. But I appreciated what I had. So that was the only one that I actually wanted. Because obviously I never got it. Then over here you can see behind here. That is a Super Nintendo um, system. Which is the Street Fighter Turbo Edition. Complete. Really good. And then obviously you've got some stuff up here, which is the Senra and Kagura set. We've got pretty much all of them in limited edition. They are my partners. Labyrinth, limited edition on Nintendo Switch. That is also my partners. So then we come to this. So this is basically all our DVDs and Blu-rays because I don't know how to store them downstairs yet. This is the first time we've ever moved out and... I'm gradually learning how to store things and rejig things. So it's here for the moment. It will be moved eventually when we've got somewhere else to put things. But in case you're interested, this is all our anime. Um, it's a mixture. Like Naruto and Bleach aren't mine. But like this is and this is Cowboy Bebop, Blood Sea, Negame, uh, stuff like that. Um anime continues down here again this is mainly my stuff um evolution i love that series i know that's not anime but uh moon phase love it final fantasy elemental delay car captors digimon Yu Yu Gi Oh, voltron stuff like that then we do have some kids dvds because i want to to get my kids into like the old stuff so we have stuff like uh the land before time we have stuff like the original sonic the original dark tales um you've got count Dracula, which was my favorite and stuff like that so we've got he-man we've got a lot of original stuff oh yeah it was tokyo ghoul that was it he's got a tokyo ghoul figure that was the one kid stuff which is more debatable to the actual kids stuff now so You've got, like, Scooby-Doo, we're a big fan. Scooby-Doo, Muppets, we're big fans of the Muppets. And then you've got Disney. So these are just generic books. Again, I have nowhere to put it. So, yeah, you do have some gaming-related stuff on here. So you've got my Super Nintendo arcade stick. You've got some Kingdom Heart figures. You've got a plug-and-play Scooby-Doo, a plug-and-play SpongeBob, and stuff like that. Um, and then kind of behind here, if I move my telly you've got in that bag is a playstation 2 uh slimline some of my um strategy guides then in here obviously you can clearly see what that is that's our playstation vr we don't have the space to get it out as of yet so i'm trying to work that out i've gradually started putting controllers on the wall downstairs so that's easier to store i'm hoping to do that with there's like a clip or somewhere to hold the VR part of it, if that makes sense. So yeah, yes, my TV. Um, obviously, I'm gonna do that. So this is my TV. Obviously, um, I also attached a universal remote to it. So if anyone knows how to unattach a universal remote to a TV, hit me up because I just love it. Go over there. Thank you. So we'll start from the bottom because I'm already kind of sat on the floor now. Um, so here we have 
PlayStation 2. So we do have some additional PlayStation and some PlayStation 2 controllers. I have got quite a few of the extra parts. I liked the fact that PlayStation 2 lived for so long that we got so many additional stuff, like bits. Like weird remotes and coloured lights and all that stuff. So in here we've got some like crappy ones, I admit. But then we've also got some stuff that I really love, like Ghost Hunter... Devil May Cry, Shadow Hearts, Project Zero, um, Kingdom Hearts. We also have a lot of the iToy games because that's one of the ones that I originally grew up with and I adored and I played loads. So, uh, so if I go over here, this is the Nintendo DS selection. Yes, I know there are three DS consoles in amongst this, but again, as I said, I'm limited for space. So... <laughs> There is a console in each of those. You have these consoles. That one was reduced to clear at Argos, like, ages ago. For, like, really cheap. So I purchased it. I've never opened it at all. So it's sealed. Like, yeah. And then you do have some 2DS consoles down at the back, as you can see. So, um, yeah. So one of the things that I really like collecting, <laughs> because I'm a weirdo, is... stuff like this so these are Nintendo 3DS or new Nintendo 3DS game plates so like this one actually only came with the console if you purchased it with um, that beauty game I'll see if I can link a picture up. But either way, so I think that one's going to be really hard to get. So that was in CX really cheap. So I've purchased that. I've got Mushroom and I've got um, Mario. So every time I go to a different CX, I always look out for these because they're normally really cheap. And I, I really like them. I'm never going to be able to afford to get like a whole set of them. But yeah. Switch hands quickly. So up here to the next one, we've got 3DS collection. So again... Argos has got a lot of games that are going super cheap. So, like, they actually have, like, Yokai Watch 2, and they've got both of them. So, they've got Flesh Souls and Bone Spirits, and they are, like, £2. So, um, I think even cheaper, actually. So, go check. If it's in your area, Serious Yokai is such a good series to get into. 100% recommend recommendation. We found these, which I ordered ages ago, which are completely in Japanese, but they're awesome. Um, yes, that does have a console in it. That is my original DS. It was that bricky. That's just an attachment, just so you can uh, basically play stuff like Resident Evil on the console really comfortably. These, I've got about three of these. Um, multiple colours. They were just the ones that you could plug, like drop your console in and it would charge. It was so much easier. But as I said, I do really like these. So I have stuff like, I've got a Hello Kitty one. That one came from Argos literally recently. They've reduced it to like, I swear it's like a pound or 50p. So yeah, I got that. Oh, this one that I really, really like. Um, basically, it's just um, all the characters. But they're kind of pixelated, so it's kind of cute. So, uh, Plain Dots. Again, that came from Smith. It was actually they were like i said to them about it and i was like how much is it and they were like they checked and they couldn't find it on the system so they said you could have it and i was like are you sure and they're like yeah just take it i just i want rid of it and i was like so that was free ah so this one looks plain white but i don't know if you can see there you go so it's got like bob -oms and all those kind of mario characters and stuff on it so that's kind of cute Oh, this one came out when um, the re-release of Sapphire, I think, came out. Is that one? I can't even see the game. Oh, it was yeah, Amiga Ruby and, like, whatever the other one was. Alpha Sapphire or something. But either way, purchase it then. Pikachu, because I love Pikachu and Kirby, because I adore that little pink blob. Even more so now that I know more about, like, the origins of of him which is cute 
So over here we come to the evil baby that will give people nightmares that stay in here. This is the Wii collection. This is completely mine. So it is key to say that... 10% of the PlayStation 2 games are my partners, the rest are mine. The Wii collection is completely mine. The 2DS and 3DS, 10% of the of those are his, the rest is mine. Um, but yeah, so I pull this down so you can actually see. These are mainly games that I have played and really thoroughly enjoy. Like this one is just because it was dead cheap and it came with the like controller. So yes, we have Final Fantasy, Chocobo Dungeons, we have Pokemon Battle Revolutions and Poke Park Wii. We only have the first one because the second one's really expensive. Marry at the Olympics. We have a couple of those and the Winter Olympics. We also have Harvest Moon Animal Parade because, oh my gosh, it's really hard to find. And Musical Melody as well, which I haven't played a lot of. The Wii controls are not my favourite. I don't want to be jumping about. So, uh, yeah, we have Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Paper Mario, and then, like, the, the standards. This goes to Cooking Mama, Babysitting Mama. Um, you put the control in the back and you're supposed to, like, rock the baby. It's supposed to have a diaper. Uh, yeah, either way, it's, like, the thing of nightmares. And I only picked it up because it was literally in CX for, like, 50p. And they were actually mocking the guy because they were like, no one's going to buy that. So I was like... Can I buy the baby, please? And they just literally laughed and was like, ah. So, they can go there. Right, I'm going to stand up. Oh, so my apologies. And I'm going to get my little purple puffy seat. Eee. So, this one here is, um, so it's a mixture. So, if I take this out of the way. Lilac Wars, we all know what that is. I'm not going to pretend that people don't. Um... So this is a mixture between Super Mario 64, not Super, sorry, Nintendo 64. It's because I was looking at the Super Mario 64 case. Obviously, Sega Mega Drive over in this corner. The N64 is stuck kind of there. Then there is also a mixture in here of um, Super Nintendo, which is mainly like there. There... And like all up here. So um so yeah, this is a mixture. As I said, like I grew up with this. My child mind had a Sega Mega Drive. I never had the other two consoles. So there's only a handful of games that I will purchase that I know I played. Or that I am happy to purchase due to the fact of I know I like it. Like I'm not gonna sit there and just hype up and buy games because they're expensive and worth money. Because all they do is sit and gather dust. I'd prefer to have stuff that my friends can come, like, my friends come around and I can just whip it out and be like, look, you want to play this? And they're like, yes. So this section, which is kind of hidden away. So this is one of my favourite sections. So the main console I had as a child was the Game Boy and the Game Boy Colour. I lived with the Game Boy Colour, like... I think it was super glued to my hand for years. So, um, so yeah. So, we have, or I have, a lot of Game Boy Color games. It's key to note that all that stuff is mine. All that stuff is mine. Most of this stuff, the Sega Mega Drive is literally 10%. I'd say 20% mine, the rest his. Mainly because these are actually all the ones that he grew up with. And he was like, can we keep my ones and get rid of yours? Because yours have just been collected over the years and you're not fussed. We've still got the same games, but these are from my childhood. And I was like, absolutely. So they are his, apart from like an odd few. So like, that's mine, that's mine. Um, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. And some of those are. So do you know what I mean? So do you know what I mean? They're mostly his. This is all mine every single game i have multiple colors in regards to in regards to these so these are game boy colors it's a game boy light um game boy advanced game boy advanced i have a case i thought i was picking up that case 
in here this i found at a boot sale so there are still finds to be had and i wouldn't say you've got to get up stupidly early but i will say be prepared to just pay what you want if you want to get it so i got this it's really cute and it does still work and it's still charged it holds its charge better than most blooming things so this is a game boy micro they are harder to find than anything and they actually do have face plates they are even harder to find than mostly in japan yeah seriously <laughs> so any games that i have got that are loose are in these baggies so these are game boy and game boy color and game boy advance that is a completely box game boy color again came from a boot sale absolutely cute i can't remember where i got that from that was like a boot sale or something like that um this is not the real game and i know that and i don't condone those kind of games but it's basically gaiden and gaiden's really expensive so i'm not paying it because it's a shit game um in here as you can see is literally my card reader if you've never seen one of these you're missing out so i also have these i bought this before it was popular now everybody's into it so that's a randomized pack it's got pokemon cards in and stuff donkey kong 3 donkey kong clue clue land tennis um no idea just a kirby game uh excite bike golf uh air hockey and pinball so yes those are it's really dear to me and i really love it i picked it up off of ebay actually a long time ago and it actually came all of that packed so it was all together so uh so yes i have stuff like the original harvest moon 2 the original pokemon pinball box two sps that's the blue one my dad actually borrows that off of me, so I don't have that with me. Uh, that's the pink one. And as you can see, I have a lot of Pokemon games that are sealed. Uh, not sealed, sorry, boxed. These two are fakes. But because if you know anything about the original Game Boy games, you know what's going around at the moment about these really rubbishly translated games and weird fan-made games. That's what they are. But again, I had them for so long. I have a Pokemon organizer, a Game Boy organizer and stuff like that. I have the original Zeldas and bits like that. So that's kind of cute. So yeah, I'm going to leave them bits there because I've actually got to put them back neatly. Then if I come and stand up, you can see on this shelf here, we have all of our Xbox 360 games. So I'm pretty sure I'm just literally looking over them now. So I'm going to say 95% of those are mine, maybe 5% are his, and I'm just not looking properly. But yeah, so a Xbox 360, we have like origin, the limited edition Alan Wake, love it. Original Xbox, this is all the games I have, and the only reason I have those games um, it's because I wanted to try them. I never had an original Xbox. So I just kind of went, I want to try it. So I haven't really not played that much of it. But yeah. We have PC games. I'm a big fan of those really shitty PC games. Like, um, oh, I can't even remember them. But proper, the old school ones. Do you know what I mean? Like cats and dogs and stuff. The, because that's what I grew up with that's what i thought pet was going to be like you know but either way we have the original sims games again that's what i grew up with that's what i wanted uh we have sims 2 because i really thought it i'd try it and it got a bit complicated so i always tend to go back to sims 1 um so yeah we have some nino kuni, nino kuni um pins i don't know how i got two sets i forgot that i had a set and they were reduced to clear in game now we have two sets Kingdom Hearts 3 Yo-Yo. Yeah, they made those. And don't ask me what. I don't know why. It was in one of those bins where they're like, everything in here is going to charity if you pay for something. And you don't have to pay a lot. And we went... And I just literally rummaged for ages. So this section, I'm going to be doing a full-blown proper video for. This. This is most of 
our Nintendo Switch games. And again, 90% of these are mine, 10% are his. Because I have a bit of an addiction. Um, either way, I have played all of them pretty much, apart from the odd sealed one that I can see because I've purchased it and not got round to it because kids happened. Yeah. But yeah, so we have some really cool ones. We have over here um Pokemon, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. That's mine, that's his. Uh, they are obviously the ones with the Pokeballs, which up on the top somewhere I'll show in a moment, we do have one of the charging docks because I thought it was really cool and it looked like the Poker Center balls. A Samus controller that I purchased for him. That's really cute because he really likes Samus. Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, it came in a bundle pack like that. That was the cheapest way for us to purchase it so he could play it and I could play it. Leg Zelda uh, Link's Awakening limited edition I adore that and then we've got a lot of limited editions and games um I spend most of my time on that console so at the moment anyway GameCube all of the GameCube games are mine um that is a very old console that was my ex's little sister's that she didn't want when I asked her how much she was like I don't know so I paid a fiver for it um, it had no controllers with it when I purchased it. It had the wires and this one Pokemon Coliseum's memory card. So I was just like, I'm purchasing it. So, uh, yeah, and then I had to purchase the controllers by myself. Um, some of them are fakes and a couple of them, two of them are real, two of them are fakes, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, and I think I've ended up with... A few additional, one of those is PlayStation, I think. One of those is GameCube. But either way, he came from the charity shop literally like a week ago. And he's awesome. He's really well made. He's from 2000, sorry, 2007. But yeah, so he's now part of our family. PlayStation 1. So I actually don't know if my partner actually owns any... Oh, that's my the only game my partner owns in this collection. Everything else is mine. The Resident Evils, Crash Bandicoot, they're the ones I've actually been purchasing over the years just to make sure I've got them because I wanted them. And then we come over here. This is Xbox One. This is this is all mine. Like a hundred percent all mine. Just because like I even purchased the Kingdom Hearts Xbox One controller. Um yeah, everything in here is mine. He's never he has got an Xbox One, but he doesn't play it. He actually has and plays the PlayStation 4. So these are all mine. I love Life is Strange. I'm a love a good Lego game. I've hundred percented that and found very good glitches. So my videos are really creepy. Or oh, my videos, my old videos are kind of cringe. But you're welcome to go back and take a look. Oh, one thing to note at the moment. So if you go to Smith's Toy Shop, no purchase is required. If you go up to the till with one of these and ask for a code, you will get a special centipede Pokemon. So if you're in the UK or if there's a Smith's anywhere near you, definitely go and do that. So up here, this is the PlayStation 4 collection. So I will now fully admit that I will say 60% is his and 40% is mine. And that is because, like, for instance, like... That's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Um, that's mine. One of those is mine. Stuff like that. So, yeah. I've only just really started playing the PlayStation 4. At the time, I didn't have the facilities, so I, I didn't collect for it. What's the point? This is my only... I've got two Vita games. This is one. It is shite. I had to beg CEX to transfer that from a different store to like the South End store. And they were like, really? And I was like, please. And they did. And it sucks. That is the only other Vita game I got, which was the only original way of getting Black Spider-Man. So I think that isn't the case anymore. I think you could get him separately. But, um, but yeah. So then we go to this one. If I move this, they're just some figurines from Amiibos. So this is my PSP collection, 100% all mine, and my Game Gear collection, again, 100% all mine. So I do have quite a few Game Gear games that are sealed and boxed. Like, 
that is sealed i found that at a charity shop um again i have quite a lot of these these all came from gumtree i may basically bought a big lot from gumtree and i've been adding to it ever since but yeah it was really cheap it was like 15 quid console charger and a ton of stuff so psp again i love the psp um i originally played stuff like this which is uh death junior dinner dash infected is like one of the ones that i loved and had the best freaking soundtrack ever silent hill origins which i have completed and i do have some umds just because i do like a umd like i like it was the easy way for me to go when we were going away to take a film with me so and then i'm gonna have to stand back as you can see up the top there, this is more limited edition than other bits. So there is stuff behind it and there's nothing I can really do at the moment. But Super Mario uh, Bros, Super Smash Bros, sorry, Ultimate. I'm going to admit something, I don't play Smash Bros. That I purchased with the full mindset of it came with this. The controller's not fucking worth it, don't even try and fight for it. I know it's a, play, a game uh gamecube controller but eh <laughs> just buy a fucking gamecube controller because i tell you what all the difference is is that has the smash bros logo on it that's me being honest like everyone else will sit there and tell you to buy it no um i bought it basically because my friends would play it and it was the easiest way to get that adapter basically so all my friends could play donkey congo 2 and the first one is behind that boxed everything in there so if i just shift this you can see yeah we do have one of those we have a nintendo switch box behind that and that's my nintendo switch box so that actually is my animal crossing one are we remote or were you remote and that is the harvest moon box like limited edition box it's not a good game it's really not that good it's more minecraft than anything but it's not terrible and it comes with a free cute tote bag and cup and badges and I think stickers too so yeah so I'm gonna flip the, con the camera around two secs so that is our games room at the moment there is a few tweaking things that need to go and things happen like up on this wall over here um in the corner I want to put some shelving units so standard shelves so that way because I actually have yeah, okay, every single Disney Infinity character um so what I want to do is I want to put them up and out of children's way because I didn't realise this, seriously looked into it and was like, because bear in mind they were like pennies for so long, like people were giving them away and I looked it up and some of the characters are like ridiculous, like up to £100 and they're not even the characters that I knew about. It's not even like um, Hulkbuster or Black Spider-Man or... Um, Bubba Fett and stuff like that it literally is like ridiculous ones it's like freaking Lightning McQueen and stuff like that and like the crystal characters that I have so um yeah those are downstairs at the moment just because of ease and I said I want to get them up on that wall so it's safe um but yeah uh, they need to be high enough up so that I can pull the click clack out and people can stay but yeah so there is bits that I need and want to do. I'm tempted, obviously, at the moment, I kind of store my shoes um, behind the hanging off the door, which is really um, like visually unappealing, and I really don't like it. I want my shoes to be stored in the bedroom somehow, but I haven't worked out how we're gonna do that yet. So um, it will come to me and I'll just be like, that's amazing, why didn't I think of that before? It's so simple, but yeah. Um, so, I'm pretty sure we can do like some really maybe thin shelves up that wall as well. So that way it's, um, we've got so much space and stuff like that. I'm going to put that back because I just remembered and I will forget and I am clumsy at the moment. Don't know why. But yeah, so let me know what you think of our games room. My favourite part is obviously these two fellas here. Um, yeah. There's something that I purchased ages ago from a independent game store and I haven't been able to put out for so long and I've always wanted to and I finally got the chance to put them out and I was so excited and I think it makes the games room personally but that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah but let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe 
if you want to see more content like this and I will see you later so 